one of the most exciting things is when you get the answer and you know it's the answer. The data is absolutely irrefutable and you're sitting there and you know that in that moment there's you and there's God and you're the only two beings in the whole world that know how He did it. And that's exciting. And I like to think that in training students in science, I'm giving them the tools they need to be sitting there with God saying, wow, that's cool. <laughs>
everything you learn in research and all the things we're doing just makes you marvel at everything God has created. And you can actually express that gratitude here and not be thought of as silly or unscientific. Students can not only become good researchers, good scientists, but also they can uh, integrate their faith and their mission and their values into their work. Loma Linda is an environment where we focus on the whole person. It's not unusual for faculty to pray with a student who's having a difficult time. It's not unusual for a faculty to inquire about a student's family. So you really interact a lot with your mentor. So here in our lab, when you need somebody to talk to, your experiment's not working and it's stressing you out, it's really nice to have someone there who's gone through it, who's done it before, and who knows the little tricks of how to get through it a little easier. Professors are first-rate professors that could easily be anywhere else, but they've chosen to be in Loma Linda. You have hands-on mentoring from someone who is well-reputed in their field, someone who's gone through the ropes. And that kind of interaction not only further develops your scientific inquiry, but it also allows you to experience firsthand what it's like to be a scientific mentor, a scientific investigator. Faculty here in the basic sciences, they care deeply about the students and they have high expectation for the students. The student number is small. You know your professors. Faculty doors are open. Uh, I know mine is until, until 8.30 most nights and as early as 7.30 most mornings. And it's not because I have to be here that amount of time. Uh, it's because I want to be here. The mentoring process is really interesting. It's not only from the faculty, but the upperclassmen are really, really helpful to you as well. If you have questions about the program, what kind of classes they took, they're really willing to answer those questions and gives you tips on how to study. It's like a one-on-one -on -one experience. The graduate student community here at Loma Linda is unique. It's a place where you don't have to pretend. Help, support is readily available. It's a functional family. The thing that I'd say makes me feel at home here most is the community here. Between the professors as well as the group of friends that I have right now, we're a really good support group for each other. Like before tests, we would all study together. After tests, we would go celebrate together and get food. You basically go to school with friends, you go to church with friends, you eat with friends. So the, the entire time you really feel included. You share your triumphs and your failures together. It's one of those things that at times only other grad students understand. They really know what you're going through. The basic science programs provide a very comprehensive education. Our graduate students have to take a lot of rigorous courses that prepare them for teaching in the future, that provide a conceptual framework for their research. They engage in rigorous research. They have basically the pressure to publish. And our students can go to a meeting and stand right next to someone from Johns Hopkins on one side and someone from Harvard on the other and realize that their work is just as good as anybody else's. And it is such an awesome experience to have the student come home from that meeting and say, Dr. Hughes, Dr. Hughes, you wouldn't believe what happened. And the students who graduate from our program, they tend to do very well, they go to good institutions for postdoctoral training, and many of them are already in faculty positions or in industry. We get a lot of opportunities to not only do work ourselves, but to share that work through publications, through going to scientific meetings and presenting our data, and it's been a really good couple of years for our lab. We've been publishing a lot and it really makes you feel good that yes, the scientific community is listening. We're not just off here in the corner in Loma Linda. We are getting out there. We're sharing what we're finding and, and really making a difference that way. Oftentimes we have the idea that the only way we can contribute to medicine is by being a physician or a nurse or a healthcare provider. But the truth is that the medicine that will be out there 20 years from now is actually being generated in the laboratory. And it's not being generated by the PI, which is what I would be. It is actually being generated by the students and the trainees, the postdoctoral fellows. It's their hands that are doing the experiments. It's their heads, along with mine, that are working out the solutions. And I think it's their hearts that are working to communicate that to others and to actually be committed to do the things that need to do to bring 
right now, to be right now, the future of medicine. And if that's something that you want to do, I would invite you to come to Loma Linda University and be a part of it.